All right, let's bring back Robert for another check of your forecast. All right, Robert, as we're looking at the planning our week, maybe I think about the middle of the week is when we got some pretty significant rain chances, right? Yeah, the week as a whole is OK, except for Wednesday. Wednesday, you're going to want to stay inside for that day. It's going to be a wet Wednesday to use a little alliteration in the forecast there, but not a bad day today and not a bad day out there tomorrow. You can see we'll take you around the region here for some live looks. There's spring day. You can see the flags are still blowing and those winds are all over the place uh, up to the northeast of us across Table Rock Lake. You can see the the wave action there from the winds blowing across the lake. What a sunset though uh, up just to our northeast as you head toward Branson there at Table Rock Lake, even top Cavanaugh Hill and Poto. It's absolutely gorgeous out there, but still a little bit on the breezy side. But man, those southwesterly winds are keeping things nice and warm. Temperatures low a mid to upper 60s in northwest Arkansas. Widespread 70 degree numbers here across the River Valley. The record today in Fort Smith was 74. I know they got to 72. We'll see uh, later tonight if that uh, if that record was broken. Still have some gusts out there between 15 and 20 miles an hour. As the sun sets, we'll get less what's called mixing of the atmosphere. And those gusty winds and the winds in general should die off. Now taking you hour by hour, a very weak front is crossing the area as we speak. Really won't do much. It'll lower our high temperatures tomorrow by a degree or two, but mostly clear skies tonight that will allow temperatures to really fall off and we'll wake up to mostly clear skies tomorrow. But tomorrow will be really a, trans a transition day as clouds will quickly be on the increase throughout the day. Notice by sunset, mostly cloudy skies across the entire area. And that'll kind of be the precursor to quite a bit of rainfall that will roll in here Wednesday morning. We wake up 8 a.m. scattered variety showers, but by the lunch hour we start to become overspread with a lot of that rain. There could be some rumbles of thunder in here as well, especially as that front makes it makes its passage as it does. So temperatures will really start to fall and we'll cool off to more seasonable levels by the time we get to the latter part of the week. Just general thunderstorms for us. You have to get south and east of the I-30 corridor. That's way down there across the southern and southeast sections of uh, Arkansas to worry about isolated or scattered severe thunderstorms. So we kind of miss out on that, thankfully. We can see a quarter to a half inch of rain uh, with this system overall. Really not a big rainmaker, but you know, it's nice to get the rain in here every now and then. Real quick, we're going to take you out to the Atlantic Ocean where a complete anomaly is taking place here. We have a, an area of possible tropical development. Uh, the National Hurricane Center has slapped an invest on this. It has 60 mile an hour winds. Certainly looks like it wants to become tropical. And if it does, it would be just the third ever tropical system to develop in the Atlantic in January. That is unheard of. Temperatures tonight, 30s and 40s will rebound tomorrow. Another great day back into the 60s and 70s. The rest of the week besides Wednesday looks great. Uh, we cool off temperature wise as we get into the second half of the week. A couple of showers possible Saturday night and into Sunday, but really that's no big deal. And you see temperatures still right around average for the weekend. Uh, same thing in the River Valley, Brandon, a wet Wednesday. Not bad as we wrap up the work week and then a couple of showers Saturday night and into Sunday.